Oh, dude, it's Monday night. What's going on, homie? We're live. Mm. <laughs> All right. Mm. Uh, comments minute, chaos. Too. Keyword chaos. Mm. We're live again. How are you, sir? I'm I'm actually pretty good. It's uh it's been a it's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy month. Honestly, like super super duper crazy month, but it's been fantastic. I can't complain at all. How about you? Uh well, I mean, I guess I can make the announcement. Um I already told you, so we covered that base, but for anybody <laughs> so. that hasn't heard, I just found out I'm having another baby. So, oh. number 4 on the way. Wish me luck, guys. Congratulations, bro. We're gonna need more beer in the fridge and more guns in the safe, but we'll be okay. <laughs> but we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, but we man. do have a special guest for this evening. A special guest and a special announcement, too. We haven't really talked about special that. Special announcement yet. and a special guest. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's get to that. Let's get to let's it. get into it, guys. All right. <laughs> So, you know, when it comes to what is going on, there is a special announcement for our guest joins us, right? So I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you take the crowd through this special announcement, Theo. Okay, so special announcement: I will be effective immediately, shaving my head, and we will be no. donating the no. hair to Phil. No. Oh, whoa, the, whoa, whoa! For the better, my. Comic con trip experience. Okay. That was uncalled for, dude. Okay, I pull this up in the hair to show to, to kind of like hide. This is I'm my. Kidding. This is you know I would never my cut my over. hair unless abs absolutely freaking that's necessary. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure your wife looked over at the same time. Like the f you say, <laughs> like, you ain't cut nothing. <laughs> I do. Oh, Journey, the cruise, Vin, John. How are you guys? Welcome in. Welcome in. Guys, make sure you sub up too. I think we're on the way to 1.2. So uh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. But yeah, special there. announcement. As many of you yeah. know, well, if you're subbed and following to us, you better know. But we've been selling up in the greater Michigan area for the Fantas collection. We've done about three sales there. They have all been on Instagram Live. We couldn't have done that without the support uh, and encouragement from all, all of you guys. So we appreciate you on that. However, we have recently been approached with another collection. This one is called the Obsession Collection. That's the official name, and that's because um, you guys will see this collection has a lot of runs, very completist type runs, doubles, triples, quads of directs and new stands and keys and things like that. Uh, so very OCD completist type collection. Uh, but his name on eBay as a seller is like the obsession uh, collection, comic collector, something like that. So we came up with the name Obsession Collection. This collection has, I want to say about 200,000 plus comic books. It might be, I might be, I might be butchering the number. I think it's probably more. The guests will know more, but it's just, I think it's just over 200,000 comic books. We've been approached to the same thing we're doing with the Fantastic Sale, which is host an IG live sale selling off this collection this is an original owner collection mm. okay original owner collection so it's not somebody that just bought a bunch of collections and compiled this stuff this is somebody who's been doing this for a very long long time they're looking into i don't want to say get out of the hobby but definitely shrinking the amount of books that's in this man's life um mm -hmm. you know we're talking about somebody who's, who's comic books literally when you hear about people that have collections from like the ground all the way up to the ceiling this is a house, like a wall. That's this collection. That's this guy. Okay? That's this collection. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've been given free reign, guys. I've been given basically the keys to the uh, to the car. Nothing's off limits. Um, best offers, bulk deals. I and you know what? Might as well make the announcement. This one will be specifically special because we just worked out the details in which I will officially be staying there extra to do the shipping. <laughs> on this sale 
So I will be yeah. doing the thing. I don't envy on this you. Set. <laughs> I don't envy you. I don't, I don't envy you. me either. But I do take pride in the fact that when I do sh- ship, okay, we ship some we ship some motherfucking bucks, okay? That's all I can. Yes, sir. All right, we yes, ship sir. some motherfucking bucks, okay? But we, but we we do have a special guest to talk about this. All right, yeah, I forgot. Let's not take away from the special guest of this year. <laughs> Let's not take away from the conversation he's going to have with us. So without further ado, Theo, why don't you introduce our guest? All right, guys. I want everybody here to give a big old how the f- are you to Rusty Griffin, my good friend. I've known this man for many, many moons. You know him on Instagram as Rusty Collects. This man's doing all the pricing and grading at least 90% of it for this upcoming sale, guys. So he'll be live with us at the sale. He'll be there doing all the bulk deals, all that stuff. Rusty, how are you? I'm doing great, guys. How are you? Welcome, brother. Welcome. It was so nice to actually meet you. First time, Rusty. Yeah, same. Same. I've heard a lot about you, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, nothing good, I'm sure. Um, Hopefully better than all the things Theo's told me about you. Um, (laughs) I couldn't even imagine after 20-something plus years of knowing me. This is gonna be so weird, man. It's gonna be so, so weird. weird. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the such the third wheel now in the no, room. I'm gonna be no like you guys are gonna be talking about something. I'm gonna be sitting there going, uh-huh. Uh I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. Like it's okay, quiet here. Take this. We got out. stories for yeah. days. Like we could yeah. talk about anything. I'm just gonna be sitting there just with my with my recorder, just like, no, what did he do when he was eight again? Could you could you repeat that, please? <laughs> Yeah. So, so, so talk to us about this collection. Basically, yes, please. So, give me the give me the who without be, being too descriptive. Let's right. hide, hide his identity, address, you know, social security number. But yeah, yeah. tell me a little bit about the collection owner. All right. So um, about three years ago, I will say I was uh, walking to the post office with a big, huge stack of Gemini's, you know, from an IG sale. I think I did with you and. I get approached as I'm exiting the exiting the post office, and it's like, "Hey, were those comic books?" He knew exactly what they were, and I was like, "Yeah." And that's how we met. And uh, he was like, "I got a bunch of comics. If you want to take a look at them?" And I was like, "I do want to take a I look." I do. <laughs> and uh, so yes, a couple of the next day, I be interested. And, and uh, I started to look through this collection, and over the course of a year, I realized like. Once I actually got into the house out of the out of this garage storage area where he kept some of the stuff he let people look through. Um, once I got to know him and a friendship and a rapport was built, I got to see more and more into this guy's life and into his collection. And uh, wow, talk about a guy that loves comics um, just as much or more than anybody I've ever met. Um, he's thrown himself into it. He uh, his father was a collector. I believe his father was a comic book store owner, so he grew wow. up in, so. I have a lot of respect for that kind of thing too. I was a the son of a painter. I became a painter myself, so I get that. You know, you follow the footsteps of your father a lot of times. And uh, my father was a carpenter. I sure as shit wasn't doing that. I went into computers. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, man. He he basically um, had pull lists from a number of comic book stores throughout the years in all the states that he's lived in, um, and he has pulled, you know. F- you know, nine plus issues of almost everything that's come out from the late eighties all the way through the nineties and into the mid two thousands. So we so got, go, go go ahead. I apologize. I, I was just going to ask you the the span of the years then. So you're saying like really the late eighties, eighties yeah, up till now. Yeah, he's got some older stuff for sure. Like there's tons and tons of older material. But when we're talking about like the bulk of the collection, yeah, it's going to sit somewhere around like the early eighties thousands that's wow, the dude. bulk of the collection um and it's gorgeous most of it is uh i would say like the average grade on the entire collection would be like a vf plus to near mint plus range like everything wow. everything's pretty crispy um if it's not crispy you know it's been there, a lot of times it's not even we don't even have to show the ones that aren't crispy because you're gonna have you know a million copies of crispy ones too yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, yeah. really great. And uh, so if there is somebody that wants like a reader copy run of something, that, that's going to be available. If there's somebody that wants newsstands of a run, like there, there are some runs in this collection that are all newsstands. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's amazing. So, 
so Theo said you you brought some some things to like show and tell a little I bit did. about too. <laughs> what you guys want hey, to who wants to do a short box dive? Who wants to do a dive? Do, dive, a dive, dive. Do, you want to see, do you want to see what like a, a not touched box of so, just something? Hey, look at this. Look at this. Hey, hey, Rusty, look. Is it full runs of image and Valiant? Yes. <laughs> mm, don't lie to me. You're going to get a lot of image, a lot of Valiant. There's a lot of independence. Um, the collection, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is, a, is roughly 700 short boxes. Wow. Mm -hmm, roughly. Um, wow. I can just pull like 700 gonna, short boxes. Yeah. So I'm going to pull just, a, I'm gonna, I actually grabbed it to be funny. I grabbed the Dark Hawk just to be funny, just so you guys can see Dark Hawk. Theo, um, we have a new challenge now. You know that, right? 700 short boxes. All right. So. <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's over it's so over a hundred it's over a hundred thousand so this is this is dark this is just the first box of dark hawk in the run and most of these boxes are not numbered they'll be like one two three for example there's 12 boxes all right lay it on me swaggle house this one's for you all right so this is the dark hawk this is never i haven't gone through these this is not going to change the order this is just an idea of what the collection is going to look like so these are all the previews. <laughs> Here's starting your ones. One. That's dope, dude. Yeah, I can keep going and just Aaron so with Josh's clear, comics just, is just like blowing his load right now. Just so we can be clear, <laughs> just so we can be clear. They're all front and back. Yeah, they're all front and back, guys. They're all front and back. <laughs> Everything's a double. So here's buy the one, twos. get one free. No. Here are the twos. So this is just the dark box. So just just be aware. So this is going to continue to go through this whole box up till right. We're not even at issue three yet. And here we go, three. Yeah, that is a great band name to play at a comic con. Seven hundred short boxes. <laughs> so here we are. We're on three still, and it's going to keep going. And this is going to go all the way. I think this run is going to end in this box at twenty five front and back. Man. And That's just so you guys crazy. can see, like these these comic books. Let me see if I can get this. I mean, they are never open comics. Wow! And that was taken straight out of a comic book shop, put in a bag and board, and then put in this box. Nice. Holy so that's crap. like that's a good look at like what when you're talking like we start with Iron Man number one. Like I can show you that one if you guys want to see Iron Man the first box in Iron Man. Oh yeah! Oh absolutely! Of course. And I know too. What I, what I love as well, especially from a uh, from a logistics standpoint, is the labels on the box, so you know what's in there. So are you people... able to uh, are you able to take the phone there and kind of just put it over the box like we've done? It's 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 not going it's... to work the same way with you. Oh well, I can't flip. The not camera. not on not on not on Streamyard. Streamyard, you need to fix your stuff. All right. Streamyard's so... not meant for phones. <laughs> oh, look, Legion, the right there, boom. He said he'll take all the dark hogs. <laughs> so uh yeah well, we'll be better show up to the sale so for anybody yeah. that's just joining too by the way sorry to cut you off man uh, we've got a few people that just joined brandon what's up we announced that we are officially um have picked i don't want to say picked up but we are consigning with another collection now uh this one's located in south carolina first sale is going to be at the end of the month of this month oh and actually we didn't even get to announce this so as some of you may or may not know, I do co-hosting with Elite Comics 11. Shout out to Ali and all the gang over there. They have agreed to allow myself and Rusty and Phil to use the Elite Comics 11 account while we're streaming this collection. So a little bit more oomph for the boom right there. Okay, guys? So this is going to be a special sale. Special sale for this one. Um, so yeah, we picked up another collection, quote unquote. It's called the Obsession <laughs> Collection. And... Uh, yeah, this is the first of many, guys. First of many. Okay, take it away. Sorry, guys. There you go. Take it All away. right. So I've already gone through a number of the of these books. So we've already gone through Star Wars. We've already gone through Hulk. We've already gone through... We haven't touched the X-Men yet. I'm getting there. That's going to be good. But we've gone through a number of characters. This is just Iron Man. So this is just the first box of 12 Iron Man boxes. Um, so... What I've done is I've moved all the keys from the run to the front of the box, and then the rest of the run follows the keys. But just to give you guys, just so I'll just run through these really quick. Hold on. 
So when you're early, you're not going to get a bunch of doubles. Okay. Mm. But nice. as progress, like once, once we're talking about the owner of this collection, when he, when he's old enough, you know, to purchase these books on his own, right? These are things he probably picked up after he started collecting, right? These early ones. So now we're going to start getting into doubles, right? And these are all front back just so we can be, a lot of the run will be like one, two front back. So you'll see like issue one, issue two, issue one, issue two, issue one, issue two, one, issue two and then three, four, three, four, five, like that. And Legion, maybe, maybe. We're still talking about the details, but yeah, definitely. And you can see like the number of newsstands in this collection are going to be, are going to be pretty off the chain. Mm. So, you know, you know, everybody knows that book that is showed that was for Brody. So we're just going through the, the front. This is just box number one. Wow. So now we're into like where he, he probably started purchasing these from the, from the shops or, or from, you know, he might've found a, a collection of somebody that had this, right? But yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So, and then once we get out of the keys, right now we're into the regular run, we're gonna start to see like tons and tons of doubles. Like, oh yeah, wow. So er, people that are interested can really actually grab their entire run sets, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. And this, this goes all the way through and then all the way into like a whole bunch of other Iron Man stuff. Yeah, 12 oh, boxes. Wow. Iron Man. And that's the same thing. Hulk was more than 12 boxes. Holy um, God. Daredevil, like, yeah, I can show you like an eclectic box that is kind of like a run through of everything I've gone through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Absolutely. You want to see the heat? This is, this is some heat, some heat, a little, little, little flavor for you guys. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's see if this, if this raises some eyebrows. It's first oh, one. hey, look at that, guys. New stand, and these are the, the crispy front and back. Mm. Here's some books that I just love myself. <coughs> oh, geez, I love that one. Yeah, those Batman Adventures are dope. This is cool. Still, still in the still in the bag. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh wow. That was a hell of an iconic cover back there. Oh, that one too. Look at that red. Holy this crap. is just, just so I just pulled these so you guys could see like a general idea of how deep this goes across, yeah. oh, across man. multiple genres. Oh, look at that, multiple, guys. Multiple characters. And just so almost everything I've pulled out of this box so far has been a new stand. Oh, jeez. Look at that, turtles. And guys, yeah, I mean it when I say it. This is literally just a taste. Okay, wow. literally just a taste. Okay, yeah, no kidding. Well, there's 700 of these boxes, <laughs> so this is all just this is just a, I just wanted to show you guys just a little quick. This is this box is just spanning what I've touched so far a little bit. Wow, that is dope. Oh, I love that one, minty. Oh, like yeah, minty. Rusty. How many boxes would you say you've gone through? Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay. right. Couple hundred, maybe, Couple no, hundred maybe, maybe maybe a hundred, maybe a hundred. Okay, so a hundred. So let's say there's still three fourths at least you haven't seen. Oh yeah, I love that Pulp Fiction cover. Yeah, Do yeah, Doc, you like oh. that piece, bro? By the way, Doc, Star Wars. It. These yeah, guys aren't going to see any of those Star Wars. Those are all. And we're going to be hosting like we do for the Fantas sale. Uh, it's at the end of this month. This is a collaboration that I'm doing um, on Instagram. I'll be split screening with Elite Comics Eleven. And me and Phil will be on site selling off an original owner collection. Fucking shit up. <laughs> Again. Again. You know, it, Again. yeah, this and is. Then, this, and ooh. then, guys, we're so still waiting. A whole box of these. We have oh CGC is visiting the Fantastic Collection, guys. And then we're going to have a massive slab sale coming down the pipeline, too. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a whole new thing, guys. We're like a traveling show right now. Oh, I love that. You know I what? That's that what it's about to be. That's what I love that. Because uh, dare I say, maybe in the future, I already know that maybe we're going to be doing another one. Mm. So mm. we're going to have the details on that one, though. Goodness gracious! Oh, Electra. 
Yeah, guys, there's gonna be a lot of fun books to pick up in this collection. Oh yeah, man, this, this, this is. Oh, that black cat. Oh man, I've never had one of those. I might have to. I might have to take a serious look at that one. <sighs> Dope. I'm telling you, know you what, guys, Mark. May, maybe for shipping, uh, I might let you know. I might. I might let you know, Mark. Yeah. Because oh, and I don't know. You guys might have missed this one. I'm actually staying a few extra days for this sale, specifically to do the shipping on the sale. So I'll be doing all the packaging. Phil will be doing all the invoicing. Locking it down, guys. This is cool for anybody that likes the Dark Knight. Yeah. Okay? I see it already. He has, he has a box. Well, it's, yeah, it's a whole box of all of the homage covers for that. <laughs> this is just the taste of one of them. The boys love it. He has like a whole box. Like he, like it's not just like he was buying runs. Like he loves comics and the knowledge that this guy has on on comic books, right? And just oh, like some authority. Oh yeah, dude. And in this, so we're talking not just he loves this book, right? So you got the first printing, then you got the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth print. Oh you wow! Got the whole run. So I could sell you. Somebody could pick up an entire print run, one through six on this. Yeah. On this all the different colors, you know, it gets like yellow, blue, red, pink, right? Of the writing, green's the first. Oh, wow. It's, it's so cool. So oh, cool. hell yeah. I don't know. A lot of people don't know this, Ooh. but like it, her, the advertisement for uh, this book, I believe, or, is it, or the Killing Joke advertisement is in this book. So it's like, oh, really? Yeah. So her first, like, you know, solo series has the advertisement for her assault in it. <laughs> Mike, Mike Mignola on the cover, too. So this is one stuff. This is cool. So so this is a cool gem I found. Some gems I found towards the end here, in one of oh, these man. boxes I was throwing through. Look at this. Oh, I love that Joker now, cover, dude. So question, question: Were these in the same box, or were these like in order in another box? Oh, these were in order in another box. Here's so all of the collection is in alphabetical order. Um, most of the collection is in number order by character. So it's it's in issue number by character. So every character, but, but, but basically it's in order. It's in order. Yes. The nice. obsession collection, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, the obsession yeah. collection. So you're going to have yeah. the obsession collection. All I've done differently is I've taken the key books from the runs and I've moved them to the front of the boxes. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. We're going to have fun. Price them, and then everything else. So let's see. a couple more. What do you want to see? Yeah, let's take a look at a couple more. We're good. All right. I think th- I think everybody's enjoying it. Nobody's uh, nobody's disappearing. Just more people are showing up. Well, so. that, nobody's saying, "Oh, how dare you show us comic books?" Yeah, so no. got two, I got two boxes. I'll only show you one of these. Hey, I only show up for the chaos, chaos of the comics. So, just so everybody can see, like how much this collection goes. This is this is the 25th anniversary. I have two boxes. 25th anniversary covers that Marvel did. Mm. Got the whole thing. Oh wow. So like. Or it's the bear. This is this one isn't even Marvel. <laughs> oh yeah, the Alpha Flights. I mean, I'm I'm still going. The guys, it's Spidey, 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 Spidey. I mean, it's the whole thing. All of got the Peter Porker Porter in there, and oh yeah, they're in here. X Men. Oh, yeah. blow me down. down. Let me see here. I wish I could flip the camera. We're still in the X Men. <laughs> Yeah. Who, who likes X Men that much, anyways? Yeah. Oh, here we I go. Mean, people still Both pay attention. Dagger. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I haven't seen that one yet before. So, in like, life. you're got. I've got two boxes. I've got. If you want 25th anniversary, you can get the whole set. Like that's for me. Like that's the kind of stuff that I love. Like when I when I find a collection, when I go through boxes, it's just like holy cow, man. Like I can pick up. And that's why I love this collection is because I love to read comics. So. It wasn't that I was, it, when I go for a key, right? I could get that key and then also get the whole run that surrounds it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, for example, is it uh, what's the uh, Tony Stark uh, where he's drinking the demon in the bottle? Oh yeah, right. Like, love those covers, love the keys that are in that. But to mm-hmm. get the whole demon in the bottle series and just be able to read it, that's that's fun. Absolutely, right? that's cool to be able to look through it and be like, ah, that's cool. I'm gonna oh, get yeah. the whole thing. It's awesome. I love when you get that opportunity. All right, Hellboy, uh, Ghost in a Shell. What do you guys want to Simpsons? Simpsons universe? Yeah, buzz out of the Simpsons box. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, let me read this. 
<laughs> oh, of course, of course it is, man. If anything, now's the best time because not only is it a buyer's market, right? But when you're talking about like an original owner collection like this one, honestly, as a seller, there's the one golden rule that I feel like a lot of people often forget. And that's honestly, sometimes it doesn't matter how much a book is going for. It really matters how much you paid for it. Yeah. So whatever position you're in or whatever age you get to, and you're like, you know what? Now's the time I want to part with the excess amount of my books. You really cannot forget how much you paid for it. Uh, yeah, it's cover price. Even if you're making, let's say, ten times ROI, I mean, if you're talking numbers and investments, guess what? Like, you're still winning. Yeah, win. Yeah, and it's just let's also too. I mean, for 20, yeah, 30, 30, 40 years, it's been sitting there as dormant. Plus, don't forget you know, though. Too. Oh yeah, the Care Bears is the Care Bears is the best one. Don't forget though too, when you are selling high, you're also selling when there's more competition and more uh, sellers out there selling mm -hmm. the same thing too. So, really depends yeah. on what you're selling. Yeah. Agreed. Let's see it. I want to see these. Yeah, let me see that ones. thing, dude. All right. So Simpsons, the same thing. Um, like really preserved. These are come. Most of these are still in the plastic. Um, oh God, man! Look at all back, that. Front and back, just so everybody can see. Anybody want a Simpson one? Oh, <laughs> How about man. a Bartman one? How about a Bartman? <laughs> and you know, and you know, the nice thing about this is, guys. Front and back. We're able to bring this to you and honestly get you books that, what, this time last year were two, three times what they were going for now. So, yeah, I would say now's the time to be buying. Yeah, this is definitely more of a buyer's market than what it was two, three years ago. I mean, I know everybody would wish they were still getting COVID checks to buy with, but that inflated the market so dramatically at the same time, too. It was not the time to be collecting. You know, this is the time to be collecting and, you know taking things where you want to but if you've been collecting for 40 50 plus years yeah. you know and it's time to get out this is also a great time to do it too because demand is high because when you can sell them for a good price more people can participate in the market a lot of people forget that a lot of people are just like oh today's now's a terrible time to sell it's not a terrible time to sell is when you're selling books that are affordable to more people you have more buyers and you're able to sell more things so it does have that inverse reaction of also too not being priced out of regular buyers wallets and this is a wonderful opportunity for those people to get to get the books that last year they were like oh man i hope things go down sometime soon guess what it's it's you know now's a good time now's a good time it's just I'm flipping, I'm laughing because I'm I've been flipping through radioactive mans for like two minutes. Yeah, I know, right? You're 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 in the radioactive man like short box now. And man, like these oh, hey, like, question: You got any radioactive man number ones? <laughs> I know. I right? want to turn the lights off right now so everybody can see the skeleton grow glow. Mm. <laughs> Next the box. Thing about this book is you set it up on your Next box. Yeah, you set it up on your uh, you know your dresser when you're a kid, and you have the lights on. You turn it off, you see a skeleton. It was awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, it's, you can see it. See oh, this? yeah, you can. You can see it coming through. That's crazy. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. That's dope. The and they're so minty. They're so minty. Like, that's, it's just all of these are never. How been awesome open. would it be to have a shelf of like all glow in the dark covers that have like LED lights and then at nighttime you turn it off, they all glow in the dark? That is crazy, dude. Anyway. Yeah. That's like one of the coolest Amish covers. Maybe that's ever. just me. Coolest Amish cover ever, in my opinion, right there. Come that on. is cool. I love that. I love that. Yeah, fantastic. Hell yeah, dude. That's hella dope. Yeah, there's so many of them. Does any, anybody like Mike Magnolia? Oh, a little. <laughs> right, well, let, 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 let me see that next box, sir. How about some Hellboy? Ooh. So this is this actually I'm going in the wrong order. I should show you the boxes before this box first, but that's got all like the animation. We'll be okay. What? We'll be okay. So this will give you an idea of what's in the box before it, these first couple books. So this is all go this is all ghost in the shell. Oh, oh dude, nice. that's dope. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I have a whole box of it. Oh, really? Yeah, this is just the end of it. This is like the very, very end of the run, like of what he's got in the Ghost in the Shell. And we're going to start getting into the Mike Magnolia in a second. 
but it, his Ghost in the Shell collection is so so cool, man. Yeah, I know. And last um, last time we were live, Phil, I remember there were a lot of people asking for mangoes. Yes, hundred percent. Ghostbusters, let's go. What? Oh yeah. Oh guys, for context, I think there's like a whole box of Invincible TMNT and um, like Independence that he's about to be bringing to Rusty to price and grade. Oh, that's crazy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He just got done building two walls. We're gonna be doing the sale in his garage. We have tables, walls set up, boxes out there. Um, this is, yeah, this is gonna be one of those types of like, oh my goodness, sales. Like you yeah, guys ready for a complete? I can't wait till he starts busting out the mutants for you too, um, because I think he's going in alphabetical order right now. The X Men, the X Men is, it's it is. Yeah, I know that there's multiple runs of Jim Lee X Men complete. Holy like shit. it's there's so many boxes of X Men. I don't even know. How <laughs> What's the years on the collection again? From the early '80s, I think you said. Well, oh. remember he's got old. He's got a ton of older stuff. Mm -hmm. But I would bulk mainstay of the collection buying for himself is his lifetime, right? So like you're talking, his dad was a collector and his dad was a comic book shop owner. Mm -hmm. So a lot, some of that transitioned over, obviously. But then you have oh, there, there, there's some gold, silver, and bronze. It's just not the bulk of it. Yeah, the bulk yeah. of it is, is early '80s to the early 2000s. So now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Early 2000s. Like, he doesn't have a ton and ton of moderns, but he does. And the books that he does have, it's doubles, it's like duplicates, 30, multiples. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it goes deep. I mean, he's got so much of the Hellboy. It's so cool. Great day if you like that, man. And oh, I mean, honestly, like, I, I didn't know a ton about Mike Magnolia, Magnolia before I met this uh, this comic book owner. And he's the guy that owns this collection. Mm -hmm. And I, I was able to read so many runs because of this guy because of this collection oh this is so cool you don't see that and the trade oh nice i love trades yeah you know when you can get a trade so now we're into bprd and you're gonna of course like if you know mike mcnolan and you read these like we're gonna you know what's coming next so it's just, it's just so fun right i'm sorry i'm going so that fast that's great no, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Just go, dude. You haven't missed the X-Men. We just haven't gotten to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing more uh, live previews. Oh, Guys, man. like I said, um, there's like 700 short boxes. He oh, has, man. He has six behind him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got six. Yeah, guys, there's going to be a lot going on. I just, this, is just, this is just to show you guys up, like, what exactly you're getting into when we do the sale. Just so everybody can see like the depth. This oh, yeah. Is, this is just Hellboy. I just showed you Simpsons. I just showed you right Iron Man. You guys are see. <laughs> like just so we can be clear, like that first box of Iron Man, right? Like that only had like if I was probably only had twelve issues in it, thirteen issues in it after the keys, right? Maybe not even that. Probably after oh, those, yeah. Legion, those you just make you. sure you're there, baby. Yeah, I, and I, I I can almost guarantee. I don't like to use the word. Uh, it'll be extremely affordable. The amount of books that will be available to be buying at bulk. We we may have to do a comics and chaos. This, special. this is going to be one of those bulk sales, guys. We might have to do a comics and chaos special one of those nights for an hour, Theo, just to, you know, make sure everybody knows where we're at over here. Oh, you know, we should just do a, uh, yeah, we'll just do like a quad broadcast really quick because, like I said, we're going to be on elite uh, the entire time. Oh yeah. So I'm going through ghosts. I just went through one. So this is. All Dark Horse. This is cool. I don't know if any of you guys have read any of this, but but this is just showing you. And just so everybody, anybody that's coming in, most of these are front and back. I wanted you guys to see how this collection is kind of stored. So, like, if you buy a run, you're going to get seven, eight, right? Then you're going to get yeah. nine. Then you're going to get Jeez, nine, Plagueis. Dude, that's freaking nuts. Nine, ten. Look at that, Phil. Plague said he counted 913 long box and short boxes at his LCS this past weekend. Jeez, Jeez Louise. You need a break, bro. 11. You see how that, that goes? Yeah, 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 yeah. It just takes the whole run in that shorter set. I love it. Yeah. And so you got you got it for days, and then we're gonna get into ghost in the shell here. Hold on. I don't need to go through the whole ghost run. Here we go. So here's the Alita. Ooh, yeah, Bell. I love that. 
So just Battle so Angel. Just, it's like yeah. this. boom, boom. As you guys can tell, super you, underrated you, movie. You grab some books from the A's section. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Us, yeah no. Send it to us, man. Hey, hey, ma mention our name, bro. Tell them we we could probably take that down to uh, you know maybe uh, six, seven hundred and thirteen. Oh. So yeah, here, this, these are cool, man. You don't see these ash cans. No, you don't. That's what I was just thinking, and you got a few. Oh, I have a whole <laughs> How many ash cans you got over there, buddy? I have a whole box, like a whole couple boxes of ash cans. Holy crap! Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that came in an ash can. Was that a wizard advertisement at the bottom of it? Is that what they came in? Was a wizard? Oh yeah, yeah. this is this is like I said, yeah, yeah, Legion. This is a completely different type of era and uh, just genre of uh, collectible c books that are going to be. Yeah, Man, they, they haven't even shown magazines and treasuries. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, there's a. <laughs> I'm still going through ash. You get the variety, man. You're still in the ash cans, bro. All right, let, uh, let's check out. A we'll believe you. We'll look at a different box. Yeah, another box. Here's the number one. Uh, There's the number one. one. There, there we go. go. There we go. I found it. And there's some more of them. Wait, there's some more of them. There's two. There it is. All right, now we're through. Wait, no, not through two. Oh, there's three. Three. Oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Oh, I believe you. It's fun. And, I mean, that's going to go all the way through the – you're going to go into the Ghost in the Shell. Into right? what we saw in the other box, basically. <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, it's going to end in the trade. Oh, I love that. Hell yes. Let's freaking so, go, dude. Oh, that's another I love cool thing, Trades too. are my thing. Yeah, that's another cool thing. Um, a lot of times, you're going to have the trades. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are, there's a lot of trades in this collection as well. Yeah, you're if, if if you don't want to buy that whole run of Dark Knight, you just want to get that number one, you can get the Dark Knight trade and the number one. That's true. That is true. true. And that's a lot that's like the same thing. A lot of the runs you're gonna have the trade paperback. You're gonna have if you if you know the run, right? If you're looking at Hulk, you're gonna have the annuals. Oh so yeah. Like that too. And then, and then like anything in the expand in extended universe of that character, you're you're most likely gonna have that as well. Wow. So like you're going to have the two in ones, Marvel two in ones. You're going to have boxes of those. You're going to have it's, <laughs> it, it sick, just goes dude. and goes. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those collections where as somebody coming in to buy, I, I would just like just ha make a list wow. right, of what you want to see, what you want to, what, what you want pulled. Cause that's it's a possible good point to too, actually, guys. Uh, anybody that's listening, watch this on the replay. Yeah. Send me a DM for this particular type of sale too. Make sure you have a list. Send it to Phil or myself before yeah. the sale, and I can almost guarantee that I could have that pulled to the side, priced and graded and ready for your consideration. So, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You heard it there. Uh, all right, let's do one more box, and then let's do like a – let's see if there's any questions. I um, think we went through all the boxes. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, Oh, that's yeah, funny. we definitely we talked. We definitely spoke to most of them. Yeah. Yeah, duplicates in there. Okay. So if anybody has any questions uh, in the chat, let it rip. Uh, myself, Phil, and uh, Rusty will do our best to answer it. And yeah, we'll get it going. All right. So, were there any ASMs in the collection? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how many? How many boxes? How many boxes in the collection again? Let's do that. Oh, one. Dude, there's seven hundred around seven hundred boxes. And uh, your answer to the ASMs is uh, yes. Um, if you want ASM, I can get you lots of ASM. I can get you Web of Spider Man. I can get you. Any Spider Man, <laughs> like Spider Man is uh this this guy's basically his favorite character. So dope, hell yeah, yeah dude! Spider Man yeah. is everywhere. You got Spider Man for days. Oof, yeah. Oof. And like he and oh, and he loved those holographic covers just so we could. How about this one? Uh, is, there any, any is there any is there any full up. Crisis Watchmen sets in there? There are there there are Crisis and there are Watchmen. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the extent of the Watchmen run. I know that a lot of it has been graded. Um, what, about, uh, what are we talking as far as TMNT? The TMNT, I will be honest, I think is one of the lacking, is, it's probably the most lacking uh, characters. Full run? Uh, yeah. However, however, <laughs> okay. however, 
if you know TMN, TMNT, right, you know mm -hmm. that there's like a lot that ties into it. So like you've got a lot of the gobbledygooks, you've got a lot of the things that spun off of TMNT. You have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you just don't have like like what you see here. You're not going to have a whole box of early TMNTs. Sorry, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. If there was a box of TMNTs, I'm just going to let you guys know. <laughs> uh, all right, GT. I've already owned them and sold them. G all. GT. <laughs> The best, the, and the, the best I could do would be for you to send myself or Phil a message and we could get back to you within 24 hours. That would probably be the best. Be the thing. best we could do. <laughs> and, that, and that's a big, big maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a big, big maybe. But you yeah. never know nowadays. You never know. I do like you never that know. question, though. That's a great question. <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah. It's gonna set, I, definitely say one airfare. I'm sure we could figure it out. It would just turn into a vacation all of a sudden for Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I can figure it out. We can figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Not, I, yes, yes, yes. The, yes. the sale will be on Instagram. Yes, send the message on Instagram. Yep. Make Absolutely. a list. Yes, guys, make a list. That's that's For this sale, this is the best thing you can do. Mm -hmm. is make a list. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. I don't know. I mean, I, I've not even heard of that. What was that? Sorry, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac in there. Um, I would. I'm not familiar I, with that. I've one. never heard of that, but I would. I will tell you this: I have been flipping through these books for a number of years, and I have found so much that I have no idea what it is. <laughs> what Any is Gen that? 13 in there? Uh, yes. Asking There's for a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to find some Gen 13s in there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, yeah, GT sounds good. Yeah, GT, yeah, get back to us, dude. Absolutely, yes. secret wars for days. I mean, if yeah, you if you if you can name it, it's probably in there. If it's a if it's an early 80s, especially through the 90s and into like 2004 or five, if it's in that era, you're it's going to be in there most likely, unless oh, wow. it's a major, major key. Right, mm -hmm. unless it's a major key, and that's something that I'm going to sell you. Unless it's like one of the big ones, which would, those would probably have been graded and priced, or great, or graded and sold in wow. the past. Um, but that doesn't mean there's not a ton of keys in this collection. There's tons of them. Oh yeah. How about any bone from the cartoon books? Yes. Yeah, bone. Okay. Absolutely. Dark Horse presents. You want Dark Horse presents? Boom. Done. Like you want Predator ones? Boxes of them. You want? You want? You want. <laughs> Uh, hey, here we all go. Good nice. stuff. All good stuff. Oh, that's, that's great, stuff. dude. Hundred yeah. percent. No, I'm excited. I'm excited. So we're gonna be there, um, basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday, last weekend in September into the first, uh, the first days of October, and um, that's gonna be everybody's opportunity. So start thinking about what you want. Um, obviously, we're gonna GT. We'll 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 chat. Um, yeah, GT messaged me. Basically, yeah. to, to answer that though, probably not itemized, but maybe it could do like the start and ending of a run per series and give you an idea that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But like mm -hmm. I said, send me a message. Yeah. Uh, do basically all the Secret Wars 8s and ASM 300s have been plucked? I mean, uh, the ASM 300 are definitely plucked. I couldn't tell you the Secret Wars 8s. I haven't looked through those Secret Wars 8s yet. I haven't looked through that. You're talking about, you're not talking about specifically from the original Secret Wars, correct? It's just from, from the original. Oh, my guess it would be from the original, yeah. Well, I can actually, I could probably go check that. I have the uh, it's right, it's right underneath my name. It should yeah, be. Yeah, Rage Theo, just one word. Should be right. Um, it's because your thing's under, over, to get rid of the new collection announcement, Theo, and it'll show up. I, you tell oh, that's why I can't be the guy. Right. There you go. One, of us, there one of us has to be the professional. <laughs> I had the same problem. I couldn't read anybody's hey, comments. It was a banner. Yeah. No, those. that's how you can find us on Instagram, brother. That name right underneath there. Yeah, so all good stuff. Like stuff from uh, all, all eras. I mean, all eras from the early 80s till now, I guess. So Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Star Wars. I got to go through the Star Wars last week. I know there's a lot of Star Wars fans. Holy cow. 
lot of Star Wars. There's a lot of Star Wars, and like if you if you've ever like, read, are you talking like from Marvel or Dark Horse or just all, all of it, all of it. Like starting with the 1977 run, it goes all the way to like Heir to the Empire. It goes all the way through Rogue Squadron. So like not just the Rogue Squadron, everybody knows, right? We're talking like all the Rogue Squadron, and it, Rogue Squadron's broken up into like all these little mini stories, right? Yep like six book sets i think and they're sweet reads and you've got every single one of them <laughs> dude like, that's crazy boom, 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 boom. Like, it's like oh my gosh dude you want to re, -re rogue squadron here it is try, try, do me a favor i mean i don't expect you to go there and count every single one but try let me know the exact amount of short boxes because there are, are there any long boxes or is it all short? no he he has taken the last couple of years and he has slowly taken all whittled all of his long boxes down into short boxes and i believe the number i i can tell you that i it's it's around 700 that's what he has told me number a number of times it's around 700 short boxes do we have any full akira runs i just showed akira that's what we have in akira that was Alita. You didn't show oh, Akira. Alita. Sorry, I'm crazy. Alita. Yeah, no, yeah, no you're good. You're good. I, I, I kind of have my animes. I was thinking, so, like, yeah. hey, did he? I don't know. I was like, I had, I had to look. I could, you and I were just very familiar with the Akira runs. Just the other day, we were just like, we were getting super familiar with that book, and all of a sudden, I was just like, no, no, that was Oh, Alita. we just <laughs> old partial to complete Akira runs on the last sale. Yeah, no, I can look. Um, yeah, let us know. And guys, this thing goes so deep. Like I've known this owner for three years about, and I haven't gone, I haven't, I haven't even gone through maybe 50% of this. Well, that's amazing, dude. No, so we're, su we're super hyped to be there. Yeah. Over a three year span. That's how many books there are. You know, it's, it's a, it's a lot. It goes super, super deep. Um, you got to know, like when I go over there, you know, I usually know what I'm looking for and I go right to those boxes and I, and I dig through those boxes for a few hours. Um, and in doing that, I've gotten pretty familiar with it, but there's so much. So as we go through it, if I got a list, I will definitely keep my eyes on it and, uh, I'll pull whatever I, what people want. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, before, before we, uh, we, we give you your chance to break away, let everybody know where you could be found and uh give us give us where give us your socials yeah rusty collects on instagram uh, a lot of a lot of you could probably already follow me um i've sold a few times with rage uh we've, i've done some sales myself so yeah it'll be rusty Plex. um and my email is the same rusty Plex at gmail so you got me on email and you got me on the insta that's pretty much awesome it. awesome well, brother, we, you know, we, we want to for sure definitely thank you for making it out and joining us. Always a pleasure, you know. friend. Heck yeah, dude. Always a pleasure, guys. Have a great evening. You too, brother. You I too. Thank to you so much you for joining us. We're going to sell the heck out of some. Oh, yeah, guys. We're, I'm going to be staying with this guy. Okay? Oh, we're, yeah. He, he's going to see, he's going to see the madness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to be staying during the day. <laughs> during we will the, see the chaos the sleeping and time. the comics. Rest assured. Rest oh, assured. Oh, yeah. 100%. Right. Thanks for joining us, brother. We appreciate yeah, you, Henry. Later, bro. Later. Oh, man. Once again, we have our work cut good, out for good us. Good news, bro. good news, good news. Yeah. So. yeah. We're cut out for us. Uh huh. Just, you know, frying pan, fryer every single time. I, I just <laughs> feel like uh, this is just. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've all been fun. They've well, all, they, and, you know, not to mention, no we, we forgot to mention it to um, the chat, and Rusty didn't mention it, but he surfs. You know, he lives right by the beach. So I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying that you know maybe maybe get some sand in between our toes and go on a little board or two, but say that quietly because hey. the people in this house may get a little jealous. All right, so I'm in Michigan. Remember, I don't get beaches around me very often unless it's cold as dirt. Hey, I'm in Northern California. We do, but there's jaws in them. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we, uh, ours is like a tease, bro. We are surrounded by water, but nothing's going. Right, I need a wetsuit. I need a knife. <laughs> I need a flare gun. I need spray. I need everything. Man. Nobody's nobody's going to uh, nobody's nobody's going to get eaten when they get in our water. I will say that. I will say that. <laughs> um, that is that is true. Uh, yeah. No. But this is this is this is going to be great. This is going to be good. And honestly, this is exactly what we like to do. And that's just really kind of um, number one. We like hanging out, and and number two, we like getting to bring books to people. So 
this is just going to be another awesome opportunity to do that. And, you know, having this sale will be on Instagram. It'll be on Instagram. Like I said, we'll be um, dual streaming with Elite Comics 11. So make sure you guys are already following them. So there's no issues there. Same thing as uh, prior sales that we've done together. All the invoicing will go through. Uh, Phil, for this particular sale, I will be doing all of the shipping. Mm -hmm. And we will, uh, we're going to have a good time. We're having a good time. It's going to be a three day sale. It might be a four day, maybe. Depends on how it is when we get out there, right? Maybe you know, like how, how ready we are. For sure. is the, really, the question is just to how 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 quickly Theo and I can spin things up and get ready, right? Because these guys have been working their butts off, and we get to come in after they've they've done tons and tons and tons of grading and pricing. So we're blessed in that regard, right? So you know, as soon as we get in there, we'll start going through. And, and that's why, please, if there's things you're looking for, send it in the DMs. I'll put it on the spreadsheet so we know when we walk in there there's things we can start to look at and have ready but i tell you the truth when we have them ready be there because other people will be too and if there's one thing i've noticed in each of our shows that we've done theo is whenever somebody gives us a run somebody else asks for one too and somebody else asks. so the thing is too like if we make your if we make these these runs and these orders for you be there because other people are going to want it as well. So, you know, hundred percent, we'll, we'll give you a heads up. We'll let you know. Yes, no, see you there kind of thing, but we'll prep that stuff and, you know, we'll shoot you. We'll remind you, we'll shoot you a DM, but be looking for us. Set your alerts because you don't want to miss it. If you're asking for specific things, especially. All good stuff. Mm. Yeah. I think that was the craziest thing last time that we ran into is, uh, we would finally get an, a, a run ready for somebody that wanted it and they'd already left. Or, or <laughs> then somebody else would get it. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. They'd they'd like, well, you know what? I want the back, the back half of it. So we're like, well, you're here. Let's break it up. Yep. Yep. So, uh, that, so it's going to be at the end times. of this month. So last weekend in September, uh, we'll probably make a post for it here in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be a good time. It'll be good. So, uh, Vin, I can tell you right now, if they do, you guys will only see the second prints available <laughs> uh, for your consideration. Sorry. Yeah, guys, we're going to be there the officially the 29th, the 30th, and October 1st. Those are the 100% definitely broadcast days. There is the possibility. We may go on the uh, 28th a little bit, but uh, that evening. But yeah, 100%, 29th, 30th, and October 1st. Put on your calendars. Uh, I ran a pleasure to NYC. No, no. I do not want to bring anything with me to NYC because I know how much I will end up bringing back with me from NYC. Um, no. Besides debt. <laughs> <laughs> Although, shout out to the Golden Age Groover. We will be... Um, Oh yeah, 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 stationed up near his booth. Um, we're staying with him. We're sharing a room with him there. So, shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff, hundred percent. And we'll have our good friend, Mister Godley, Lexi. He'll be there with us too. So it'll be a good time. Um, Theo, for the last five minutes, you know, uh, it has been obviously a super. Uh, Want to see if anybody wants to sale. Um, I, I was just going to get into a little bit of the news. I know when we do oh, yeah. that, Let's let a, it rip. it's going to take 45 to, or do you want to stay for another hour or just another five minutes? <laughs> what do you yeah, have time yeah, for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next time, Next time beers on Phil. Next time. Um, so we, we, we saw no movement. We saw the internet complaining. And then all of a sudden the Aquaman two oh. announcement announcement is getting a preview in two more days. How many do you give? Here's they, mine. they should just back girl that thing. Get it out of the way. The, uh, chat, chime in. How many How many do you really give about Aquaman 2? I mean, is there any hope for it? Because I, I, don't, I don't have any. I'm good on it. I'm good. Yeah, uh, the trailer did drop, Brandon. I thought the trailer was supposed to be dropping in another two days. I saw the announcement on Sunday. The trailer dropped, but it was like a trailer for the trailer. 
Yeah, that's just it. Trailers coming. In, it was just it. That was a trailer is coming in X Y Z days. So <laughs> negative. Yeah, yeah. I really just don't care. I'll, I'll be totally honest. I really don't care. Yeah, December. I think it's now. I think I just saw. I saw the preview for it being December twelfth. Oh, I mean that's yeah. exactly what I think of Aquaman, Pig Farmer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. That's just a hot mess. And for those that um, <laughs> do or don't, Star Wars, Theo, are you feeling a little bit more into it now? The Ahsoka show? Um, yeah. There's no other Star Wars right now. So uh, don't even, don't I mean, Touche. Even, Touche. <laughs> Like what? What? No, the the sequel trilogy, Theo. Let's go back I mean, to that real quick. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say right now I feel a little bit better about it after the most recent episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still not in love with it like I am like a like a Mandalorian or something. Okay, I don't know if I, I won't put it on like Mandalorian level. Not yet. See, for me, it is so much deeper in Star Wars lore. I'm I'm digging it a lot more because I'm 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 a big Clone Wars guy. I'm a big Rebels guy. And, and real so quick, for me, I agree with you on this one. Blue Beetle. I'm it. I think did we talk about Blue Beetle on this show yet? No, we, did, right? we never did. I haven't well, seen quick, it yet. You, quick, you go ahead. You go ahead. No, real, I'm not gonna spoil it for it, but yes, I agree with you. Blue Beetle wasn't bad. I think I gave it like a seven, seven, five out of ten, and it was way better than Flash. Good, like three times better than Flash. Good. I've heard huh? decent things. I've heard decent I, things. That was just I, it. I didn't like, mind it. I didn't mind it. I know we were going to try That's and one of those movies. It. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of one of those superhero movies that you could play in the background like 50 fucking times. And no matter what part it's playing, you'd be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or you just like Guardians or... 1, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's. It doesn't that's... matter like what scene you look over. You're like, oh, yeah. Nice. But there was one thing you told me that, again, not spoiler related but it was just it was too little too late right it was just like so much has happened with the dc universe you're just kind of like that that kind of held against the movie in a way too in that grade right for you in, in your mind it wasn't that the movie was bad in and of itself it was just where does this fit it was cool but i don't <laughs> understand where it goes oh god yeah <laughs> There'll be at least That's five too That's too funny. live streaming on their phones during the movie. Oh, they, look at that. oh they should have called Ahsoka Rebel Season 5. Yeah, I'd have been okay with that. I'd have been okay with that. I think, look, I'm I'm, I'm super... I'll do that. Look at that. Vin said he'll pick you up, bro. I'm certainly... Yeah, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll be there, bro. I'll be there. Um, I'm certainly a, a Star Wars dork, but I really feel I'm starting to wonder if we're going to be getting into this, um, the most recent Star Wars run in comics. I can't remember, but I, 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 the High Republic, I think we're going to be talking about some of those Nihil routes that they use in High Republic to get into this other galaxy. I feel like there's a possibility that we're going to be touching in on some of the high Republic. And if we touch in on some of the high Republic, some things are going to go a little bit wonky with comics for a while, because I tell you what, Martian row and the, uh, the Nihil laid waste to the Jedi. I mean, you want to talk about Sidious and Darth Vader, you know, at least they had the force. These guys were just sophisticated beyond the technology and just laid waste to these Jedi um, in a way that was just absolutely ridiculous and unseen of in that Star Wars universe, especially at that time. And kind of wondering if this new ship is going to be using some of that special, um, essentially it's like a, a, a hyperdrive cheat drive, right? Where it can jump into these special hyperspace lanes and switch around that even in short and close distances. So there's some theory around that. We've also got some theory too, that that's not even Anakin, that that's really the sun. And for those that did watch the clone wars, you've got Obi-Wan, Anakin and Ahsoka met the father, the son and the daughter. And essentially the daughter has been the embodiment 
of Ahsoka. She's been the light side of the force. And we're wondering is since essentially she's been the embodiment, if that's not really Anakin, because we heard, we heard the Imperial March, the Imperial theme playing behind him as it faded to black. And we saw what looked like Vader's lightsaber on Anakin instead of Anakin's traditional lightsaber. The question is, is that actually Anakin's force ghost at the end or is this going to be a temptation of the dark side? Because we know this is a huge place for the Night Sisters, especially pulling. This is one of her ancient temples for millennia, as far as things go. And they came from they're this other deep universe. On this one. Oh, I'm going deep AF, yeah, going bro. Deep. Deep. And but I mean, this is. Hey, this you want to hear a fun fact? Actually, temptative? I just learned this. You want to hear this? Oof. What? I did hear that per comics, Luke apparently had a red crystal lightsaber on him and used it a few times oh yeah when he was turned into like, like a mini one like a dad yeah, when he was when he was turned yeah yeah uh well no yes i think that's when he acquired well, no, he he still it used like it when he had the green lightsaber he would do the yeah. green lightsaber but he would bust that thing out i think that was from the dark empire series where that whole thing came about anyway yeah, i just I thought that was sick <laughs> yeah yeah, he also had I'm a, like, uh, well, he also like, had a redhead. Then they said all of a sudden you just never ever saw it again. They don't know why. He just never showed it. Probably because it just broke so much tradition with what we've con- we, we always but it saved his life. There was a few times I was just listening. Oh, yeah. and I was cleaning one day to Comics Explain. Shout yeah. out to Comics Explain. Uh, but I guess it saved his life a few times because he had lost his green saber, had gotten pinned down a few times. Like boom, uses the red one. Like comes up with a dirty ways you know what i mean i don't know so yeah pretty dope yeah 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 that was that was the comic side of it i don't remember that in the del rey universe but yeah, yeah the dark horse universe 100 percent. so, so hey, that's look, 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 get look, crazy next day for the fantastic sale i mean that should be what november right I, it's really it's really up to cgc and 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 darren when when he's ready and he's available for it so, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things where when they're ready, they'll reach out to us and let us know to come on back out to uh, Motor City and, you know, have a have a nice time at it. I know the Motor City Comic Con's coming up in November, so um, might be some interesting timing around that time of year, too. But uh, there's yeah, there's Grand Rapids the week before and then Motor City the week after. Um, that's the first two weekends in November. So I'm sure they'll have a presence at those. And if they do, that means hey, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe we make it festive because I, I don't get to see snow a lot. Maybe we do one. Uh, if you want to for sure see snow, Christmas. you should be talking. Maybe we yeah, do if one you wanna... uh, beginning of December. Little little ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Yeah. That could probably work. <laughs> that could probably work. The problem yeah. is. If we get a little bit of snow, we don't get a little bit of snow in Michigan. We either get a shit ton of snow <laughs> or nothing. L- l- listen, <laughs> mister, I just got a Tonka truck. <laughs> I don't hey, want to hear nothing. I'll get you in and out. The thing is, you got to get a plane that, that comes here that lands with wheels and not skis. Remember that, okay? <laughs> all right, that's all. I just need to get in and out. That's all I need. That's oh, I need. God. Just drive me down to Indiana, Ohio, or Chicago, Phil. We'll be able to get in and out from there. <laughs> um yeah yeah dude well it's it's been a great <laughs> Sorry, night kids. <laughs> it's no been, christmas it's been a really great night dude um oh halloween special and costume wait do I, what do we have going on in october well nycc is october so oh yeah october is gonna be mad and madness anyway hey guys those are not i don't know thing. if this you noticed it, we'll even just october. to watch i would tune in I mean, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you guys don't have to buy anything just to hang out. I would tune in to some of my whatnot sales when I'm at these cons because there's uh, oftentimes some con footage, some behind the scenes footage. Oftentimes I'm, you know, with a few other people, so it's a little entertaining. But uh, link in bio on my Instagram, Rage Theo. You guys should uh, bookmark and check out some of those shows. Just saying. Phil will probably be, be in the background half once in a while. Sometimes I just show up just to, you know, like, oh, I haven't seen you. Five, two, or it'll be like three o'clock in the morning, morning and everyone's sleeping <laughs> and you guys get some <laughs> truly behind the scenes footage right there. Yeah. Phil snoring, hopefully. Um. <laughs> well, I'm playing techno music and going, yeah. <laughs> Phil's got his uh, his noise canceling headphones on and a pillow over his head just to try and be able to try and sleep while Theo's live streaming about five feet away from him. 
Yeah, I'm a morning person, dude. I like waking up in the mornings. Theo's hey, I more do, of I a, do too, but when it's convenient. For me. Yeah, mornings for you are like two in the afternoon. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh man! Well, uh, another great night, bro. Um, Always a pleasure, and, sir. And looking forward to this next sale. And we'll be back next Monday night, guys. We're gonna be back regularly on our Mondays. We're trying to really get back to this. So hopefully, you're gonna see us here again next Monday. And we're going to be doing a live on Instagram sometime in the next few days um, to uh, to talk about the collection too, right, Theo? You're going to be hosting uh, Rusty. Oh, no, yeah. We'll be on Instagram either tomorrow or the next day to do kind of what we did tonight, but with different books. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, same thing. Awesome. And kind of like an announcement before we do like the official post. Anything else you got going on this week that people should know about? No, just what not Wednesday. I'm actually flying out to uh, Tallahassee at the end of the week, meeting up with a few guys um, for what now. We're doing a couple streams on there. Bookmark the shows if you guys are interested. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, got some hosting for a leak going down. I just did an IG live sales past weekend. Uh, n- nothing else, really. Nothing else. Nice, dude. Well, it's still going to be one of How those you? weekends for you. Um, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm doing an interview on Instagram with Corey Crater, the creator of Codex tomorrow. Oh, nice. Uh, I still need to read time. that, Corey. Check it out, bro. It's really will, great. It's definitely hey, you know, more, yeah, I don't more get to do it often, but here, I'll, I'll pull it out. You know what? I even got another one and I'll pull out all three. I got three kids. Okay. Just, I, I will. I promise. Yeah. I think you'd enjoy it. Right. I think you we're, would. We're pulling out the cards. I think you would. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've got that. Um, uh, about some more content more. working on some more content and um yeah i think uh i'll probably be prepping for a giveaway i'm getting close to 30k so i'm gonna get ready for a giveaway wait how much 30k yeah i'm almost at 30k bro <laughs> hey guys <laughs> all so... of the mojitos in new york <sighs> are on phil <laughs> anybody who's got 30k uh, better be able to throw a couple better more. Better be able to give a couple of mojitos. Yeah, we just well. rhymed, okay? Yeah, yeah. Look at that, Doctor Seuss over here. This, this is what happens. We're so late at night. Theo's getting Seussical. You know, there's a baby on the way. Well, you when know, Theo's I did, rhyming. I did read a Doctor <laughs> Seuss book today, so <laughs> just one. I'm kind of worried. Um, <laughs> all right, man. Well, a- another great night, and everybody, see you on Instagram. Hopefully, tomorrow, Wednesday, talking about the collection. Join oh, yeah, us yeah, there yeah, yeah. if you're not already. Plenty of books to go around. Plenty of books to go around. And please remember, like, comment, subscribe. We heart it all, and we will see you next Monday.